Thinking aloud over the poor state of affairs in the country, the national leader of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabiu Musa Kwankwaso, says in many parts of Nigeria, especially in the north, many people are being chased out of their homes, while some are being killed on a daily basis as a result of worsening insecurity. The NNPP national leader and former governor of Kano State made the observation at the National Executive Committee of the party in Abuja on Friday. He said Nigeria has what it takes to end the current insecurity and ensure peace in the country, but it is unfortunate that those in leadership positions do not care. He therefore assured all Nigerians that NNPP will do whatever it takes to ensure insecurity and poverty is eradicated if voted into power come 2027. Clevy News Imefono Kone has the details. Lamenting at the National Executive Committee held in Abuja on Friday over the speed of insecurity in the country and other challenges confronting the nation, the national leader of the New Nigeria People's Party, NNPP, Rabbi Musa Kwankwaso, said it is only in Nigeria that people are being chased out of their homes to pushes and forests under the care of bandits and other criminals, while some are being killed on daily basis with little or no care from the government. Kwankwaso said NNPP has taken note of the challenges of the day, especially in the northern part of Nigeria, where children are not going to school because of insecurity and poverty. It therefore assured all Nigerians that NNPP will do whatever it takes to ensure insecurity and poverty are totally eradicated if voted into power in the coming elections. The governor of Kano State, Abba Kabir Yusuf, also urged the party members to rededicate themselves to the promotion of NNPP ideals and core values. In the last uh, one year or two, you have seen what happened to the party. And of course we keep on moving. Some cannot move with us, maybe because we are too fast for them. But it's part of life. There is nothing anybody can do. But uh, we always get a way of reconciling and working together as a family again. It happened to individuals in the party, it happens to groups in the party, and so on and so forth. But I can assure you that as far as I'm concerned, this party today is one of the major hopes in this country. You have seen what happened to PDP. I was there. It failed. We had to leave and look for better things. We formed the APC. Everybody knows what is happening or what happened in APC. That's why people of like minds have to come together to work as a family to form this progressive party that we believe is in the position uh, to move the country forward. We are aware of the economy. Everybody knows what is happening in this country. We are also aware of the insecurity in this country, especially in northern Nigeria today. And it's like nobody cares. Everybody is doing his business. At the level of insecurity now, the whole responsibility lies on the shoulders of federal government. As former Minister of Defense and former Chief Security Officer of Kano State for eight years, and somebody who has gone around, somebody who is well exposed uh, in this game of politics, I believe that. Uh, the insecurity at the level it is now is on the shoulders of the federal government. We have seen states forming some security outfits. Sometimes we will laugh at them. The level at it, it is today is at the level of Nigerian military. And anything short of that, it won't work. And everybody must work together to make sure there is peace in this country. Some of us who are from the villages and even towns, we can remember how people were going to farms. Now they cannot go to farm. Not even they cannot go to farm, they are being chased from their villages and towns. Some are being killed like rats. Look at how our children are being stolen, being taken away by criminals, bandits. 100, 200 moving in 2024. It's a big shame. And our party, if you 
um, I is working, working very hard to ensure that given an opportunity any time, any day, all these things are made things of the past. That we should all rededicate ourselves to the service of our party. There is no issue of 90 or 99% loyalty. It has to be 100% loyalty to the party. And of course to the leader of the movement or the, the party. Earlier in his remarks, the national chairman of the party, Ajuji Ahmed, said the current challenges facing the nation were imposed by several years of mishandling of the affairs of the country by the past and current leaders. We will review the various activities of the NWC, which our able secretary is going to present to you, and also will be presented to you motions for the, for the approval of the National Economic Executive Committee. The former presidential candidate of NNPP, Kwankwasu, therefore assured that NNPP is one of the major hopes Nigeria is having today as APC and PDP has completely failed the country. Imefon Okun, reporting for Clevy News.